Hey, what's up, guys? This is Astronax, and I'm back for another Epic 7 video. So, in this one, I want to showcase Tywin. Let me just show you his uh, stats real quick. I'll show the uh, the gear of my team at the end of the video. He's using my uh, my Clurry, Clurry's gear. So let's head into uh, Wyvern 11, and he will not be front lining because, as you might have noticed, he's only a five star. This is to show you how uh, Aureus artifact interacts with this team. And uh, to show you how, oh, let me turn off Keese's skills. It's to show you that Aureus is not that great with uh, Angelica in the front line. And also his buffs, yes, uh, it, it only buffs one damage dealer. And if you have two, it will buff whoever is closest to 100% combat readiness. So you see, he's like a buff there. And the crit chance buff is actually very powerful. It gives you 50% uh, crit chance increase. And you also get uh, the attack buff, which increases your attack by 50%. Let's say you could be running Tywin with uh, one damage dealer and like two, uh, two supports and he will be buffing your damage dealer which is controlled which is good and you could have your damage dealer with 50% crit chance and he's gonna bring it up to 100% he's gonna need some skill ups but the thing that I'm uh, uh, the thing that I wanted to talk about is that when he has Aureus he's receiving uh, a portion of the damage from uh, Angelica in this case it's 15% uh, that's been redirected but now Angelica instead of double healing herself she is healing uh, herself and Tywin the 10% defense increase on the whole team well it's it's mostly for Angelica is uh, is helping her tanking those uh, triple attacks but I mean with uh, skill number three on Angelica she can heal now uh, herself and Tywin which is good now, uh, Tarnagar got uh, the buff because he was closer to 100% combat readiness. It's good, like, he he provides a defense uh, down debuff. I mean, you're gonna have to invest some Molagoras into him if you want to uh, to really use him in uh, Wyvern 11. You don't have to, you don't have to, but uh, actually Tywin is, is pretty good. He can be used in Arena, he can be used in Guild Wars and uh, Wyvern 11. You can also use him in uh, Banshee group, but if you do, I would uh, I would probably manual and try to burst down the boss. There's some comps that focus on dealing super high burst damage with super high crit damage on a destruction set. And Tywin can be that uh, hero that gives you uh, attack and crit uh, Crit chance buff. Alright, that was uh that was pretty quick. Damage taken. Now the drops are much better. The odds to be uh, to receive a rare item was reduced uh, significantly. I believe we cannot get rare items in uh, stage 11. Gonna have to run a bunch of uh, well, runs to see uh, what is up with that. Now the Wyvern, uh, as you know, he triple attacks. If you have a group composition that actually drops uh, three debuffs consistently or more on the Wyvern, it's gonna greatly reduce his uh, damage. Especially if you have three uh, debuffs plus attack down debuff. Now you will take a very small amount of damage from the Wyvern. Group compositions, I've been talking about uh, yeah, Crozettes for free, Basque if you were lucky enough to get him for free. You can have those two, uh, one of them tank for you. You could use Rose if you want an attack buffer and a pretty good tank. 
She also buffs her own defense with skill 1. Uh, every time she uses it under 50% uh, health. I mean, Crow, if you have him, you probably already invested quite a bit of... Uh, I mean, you probably have good gear, you probably have, have him 6 star. And you might have uh, dropped a couple more Agoras onto him. Because, I mean, Crow can be used in, uh, in Arena and Guild Wars very uh, successfully. Quickly, gonna go through this. I mean, Ice Hero, they deal 30% uh, extra damage. And all uh, non-Ice heroes receive 30% increased damage. And when, in, when a non-Ice hero's turn end, boss receives 10% combat treatment. If you have problems having your Angelica uh, survive, you could use uh, Water's Origin. Uh, four star artifact if it's plus 15 you do get 15 percent combat readiness every time you get attacked if you trigger it you need to uh, receive more than 20 percent of your health and damage <clears throat> so a sweet number would be like some like between 21 percent and 25 percent of your health every time you get attacked by the wyvern uh, as uh, the longer the fight drags on the more damage you will deal and uh, this triggers when you fail to break the barrier. You can tank that damage with a full ice setup. Uh, so yeah, it, it uh, damages your team and then uh, removes all your buffs. And then there's the huge shockwave. The shockwave is what's uh, dangerous. Triple attack, reduce combat readiness by 10% every time. The Wyvern attack, so with Water's Origin, that was very close. With Water's Origin, it's uh, it gets like it counters back, it like you get 15% uh, combat readiness, so you, you're actually gaining 5% combat readiness every time you're getting attacked. So it works out pretty well, and it might boost your survival by a ton. But if you don't have it, you can just use Prophetic uh, Candlestick. And yeah, if you have three debuffs, if you have less, you will uh, it's attack the fireball barrage will deal uh, much greater damage, and it always attacks the front hero, so that's why it's so easy. You just have a tanky front. You could have just a knight with three damage dealers. As long as you survive long enough, you're good. And this, the tail swing, well, it's when uh, the wyvern goes in barrier and uh, dispels all debuffs on the wyvern. And yeah, it activates dragon, uh, dragon's might if you do fail to break the barrier. And of course, you cannot dispel that barrier. Let's just do another one. So, wait. I mean, it's taking some damage. But it, you can make Tywin tanky enough and have him frontline for you. The thing with that is that his uh, survival stats are not as high as some other heroes. Uh, he does bring defense down. He does uh, bring uh, attack buff for himself and for uh, an attacker, random, a random attacker. And the crit rate buff but like the thing is if you do have noble oath a uh, five star artifact it will increase his defense and effect resistance uh, the lower his health uh, drops to so that is good if you have noble oath and tywin uh, you could definitely consider him as a tank but uh, you might have trouble getting enough uh, defensive statistics uh, health and defense to have him survive maybe uh maybe your healer doesn't have enough healing output to uh keep him alive but with noble oath and if you do focus on defensive statistics you should be able to uh to take quite a punch now uh, if you are having issues with uh, the healing portion well it, it could be uh a mix of both really like if he doesn't survive enough because his stats are not good enough maybe your healer is uh 
Maybe your healer is just not fast enough, but your uh, your Tywin is uh, tanky enough. So you have to balance your stats across your uh, your tank and healer, of course. Like you need some good damage dealers, but you could actually fail to break the barrier. And in that case, if you're perfectly fine with tanking the damage with Tywin, and um, you should consider putting Aureus onto him, even in the front line, because if it comes down to uh, the Wyvern using this uh, Dragon's Might. You cannot rely on any, uh, on any buff, like barrier or defense buff on your team because it, it will be dispelled and then the big hit's gonna uh, happen. And uh, if you're using a uh, mono ice team, like four ice heroes, you can definitely survive that barrier. The stat requirement is nothing insane. With 7,000 health and uh, 700 defense, you can survive it with just a minuscule amount of health left. But if you have Aureus, it does uh, reduce the uh, stat requirement. So that is good. And uh, that could be a way. Like you could have Tywin tank in front. You could have uh, a combination of two Soul Weavers in the back and one damage dealer. Or, uh, I mean, like Misty Chain is an amazing uh, hero that is a three star and she brings attack down debuff. And uh, she, she's definitely really good. She heals with skill three and uh she uh wait what's the second debuff she brings she doesn't bring defense down she brings she brings attack break and she br also brings a if it's speed down the boss is immune uh, immune to uh, decrease combat readiness and to to decrease speed debuff i'll, I'll go check it after that but misty chain is actually really strong for this if you have to use a hero off an, uh, of a different element than ice, uh, I don't recommend using more than one non-ice hero because you might, uh, I mean the wyvern, no. the wyvern might go through the barrier phase uh, too quick for you to actually uh, deal enough damage and break the barrier. Now, let me just... <coughs> Check Misty, uh, Misty Chains real quick. It's not Misty Chains, it's Misty Chain actually. Then I'll show you my gear and talk about uh, other combinations. Uh, unhealable. Yeah, I mean, even unhealable, the boss does not heal uh, himself, but you can definitely rely on that. Rely. You can have it up to 100% chance to uh, be applied and attack break so that's two debuffs if you have enough uh, effectiveness that's two right there on a three turn cooldown and if she has enough speed you could those two debuffs could be quite reliable and also you are she's uh, she will help sustain your team and skill one well uh, it heals uh, yeah it does heal the team as well so one and three and you can definitely use uh, Aether uh, you can use him for uh, healing your main tank you can I mean yeah I, I tried this setup with Yuna instead of uh, Tywin I tried uh, Aether I tried Hazel you could if you break the barrier in time well you're gonna have one damage dealer but if you use Tywin in front, you could have uh, Aether heal him and you could have Misty Chain as well. Now, if you bring Misty Chain, you should definitely try to get three debuffs on the boss because, I mean, you're not bringing Mist Misty Chain for insane damage. And actually, if you do bring Misty Chain, I would consider bringing... Uh, other support heroes to try to just because you might just end up failing to break the barrier but if you go with a quad ice team you could actually take the damage and uh, if you survive the barrier you can just keep on going and you can just chip at the uh, the boss's health slowly and eventually uh, take him out even though he's gaining attack over time if you keep on applying attack down debuff which cuts his uh, damage in half that's way more easy to sustain your team and if you are applying three debuffs consistently 
uh, the wyvern will deal uh, much less damage on top of having its attack cut in half uh, to begin with from the debuff i mean you, you might just take a, a quarter of the damage uh, i don't know exactly how much of a reduction it is after you have three debuffs if you know the exact amount or like a rough estimate let us know in the comment section i'm very uh, curious actually because definitely like the lowest requirement in term of like gear for your whole team and hero star can involves uh, just relying on three debuffs plus an attack break and just like slowly uh, killing the boss and surviving that uh, that that when you fail to break the barrier that big shockwave those double attacks the dispel and then follow it into, with the shockwave if you survive that and you just deal damage to the boss slowly and you can sustain your team and your frontliner is fine uh yeah i mean you can just use uh, a soul weaver i soul weaver uh, i mean you can use um momorunzi i don't know about ether tanking to be honest but you're gonna require water's origin in most cases because like that that's too low 4672 I mean it, it's doable Momorancy can tank and uh, you got Misty Chain then uh, you can have Aether and <laughs> I mean the damage you're gonna have is not gonna be amazing. All, uh, Alexa is actually really good too to, for uh, for debuffs. That's that's two uh, poison debuffs for two turns right there, and this goes up to 100% chance. And she can deal quite a bit of damage if you have the right gear onto her. And you're also gaining extra attacks when you're critting. And you th if you put like Daydream Joker onto her, or um, Cuts the enemy, dual attack. Yeah, you could use uh, Rihanna and Luciala. You can use uh, Daydream Joker. But because of this thing, this mechanic right here, you get an extra attack when you crit. That's actually uh, very strong if you use it, uh, if you use it uh, with Daydream Joker. Daydream Joker is going to deal 3% of the target's max health and damage. I'm hearing that it scales with crit and crit damage like Bellona's attack which is very strong and uh, you could this could be your biggest source of damage just this artifact and just have your team tanky enough to survive the damage at this point to be honest like you don't even need Tywin in front I mean uh, I mean it's been about a spot lightning uh, spot um, uh, how do you even say this this is like a spotlight for, for Tywin, but I mean, I'm trying to just add some information that could be useful to you since we're talking about uh, Wyvern 11. You could just go with a very tanky team. Uh, to be honest, like Alexa could be your source of damage with the poison combined with Daydream Joker. And you could have uh, Misty Chain and you can have uh, Aether. And then your tank could just be. I mean, you don't even... Well, I guess you can use rolls for attack buff. But if you want survival, I would use Crozet. He, he's, uh, he's just better than Basque because 75% chance to decrease attack. And then you get, you get this free barrier that scales with 15% of his max health on the target that is uh, automatically gets applied on a target below 50% health every two turns. Which is going to be himself and it definitely helps with uh, sustaining some damage because the barrier gets like when the wyvern attacks it dispels a buff right on your hero a random buff one of them and if you have the barrier and the barrier is there alone it will damage the barrier breaking the barrier or dealing uh, taking a part of the barrier uh, uh, health away but at then it dispels. So yeah, you can definitely rely on barrier. Not fully rely on it, but it definitely helps with sustaining uh, the, like the incoming damage. Crozet, so attack down, 50% uh, damage reduction from the Wyvern right there. And it's gonna help you to have that uptime on the attack down debuff, which is like one of the most important one. 
and you you don't even need three debuffs but since you're gonna be bringing misty chain with the uh, crow zed then you have it you have it there and alexa with the poison it's just very very strong and uh, Aether could be used for pure healing output but not only that i mean there is immunity to this uh, speed down uh, debuff uh, Aether brings barrier as well with skill three and misty chain she's gonna like she's gonna be your uh, second healer and deal some damage as well and have unhealable and decrease attack i mean misty chain can be your main damage dealer as well in a different group composition you can have her with uh what where is it you can have her you could even use this to apply a debuff to help with uh, having uh, three debuffs up uh, for the majority of the time or you can just go pure damage and have this thing uh, to uh, so she can just uh, be your main source of damage at this point i mean you can just use daydream joker on all your damage dealer to be honest almost but uh, yeah let's just show the gear that i have my god time i make these videos i try to like cram a bunch of information at the end i know it uh, might be repetitive but uh, there's some like stuff uh, some new information and uh, i'm sure it, it's helping a few of you out there all right because i've been getting hit in the comment section with a bunch of questions about different group composition and which hero uh, you guys can uh, bring in your team i mean if you do have a requirement roar and you have three other solid uh, heroes that can uh, fill the the roles of tanking healing and uh, maybe like a damage dealer and then requirement roar could be that defense uh, downer attack breaker like you can definitely bring a non-ice hero in the group it's just i wouldn't bring two uh, or more because at this point it gets a bit too dangerous unless you're uh, over gearing the content because it's it's always going to be easier with just uh, like more ice heroes all right so uh kise turn our guard here's the skill ups by the way angelica and uh tywin and the uh, stats in gear just pause if i go too quick but tywin i'll go back really quick and show you his uh base stats compared to another hero he actually buffs himself with defense uh defense up for three turns but it will get eaten by the wyvern well not quite eaten just dispelled eventually unless you have a bunch of buffs and you get lucky maybe it, it gets you get resisted as well you, you get a resist But yeah, like Tywin, if you want to heavily invest into him, I would say he's worth it. He's definitely worth I mean, he's ice, so that's really good. He's a 5-star, so he's got good base stats. And he can be used in other areas in the game. 648 defense and uh, 6700 health. I mean, you, you compare him to Crow. Yeah, Kral got. Uh, actually, it, it's not that bad. I mean, Kral's got less health but more defense. The thing is, Kral will be bringing defense up, which is gonna get removed, and Tywin also have it. So I would say like Tywin is better than Kral because Tywin uh, actually brings defense down, and he uh, he also brings that attack buff and critical chance buff and boost combat shooting by 30 percent so this goes down to three turn and this goes down to four turns i mean it it's a 75 percent chance to trigger i mean also he dispels buff but it's not going to be used for for uh, for wyvern but tywin in arena and guild war is very strong and uh, in some cases he can be used in banshee uh the thing that 
on auto this is random and i mean if you you cannot really put him on arena defense because he's he opens up with this thing and then he uses that but when you go on offense you just like you can you target whoever you want and you can just build a hero with 50 percent crit chance and a bunch of crit damage and super high attack and he's gonna boost the combat readiness and give those two buffs so it's great it's really good and he can carry Aureus in, uh, in PvP. So yeah, uh, so I talked about uh, which artifact you could be running for him. I would say that this is, uh, if you're having, if you're struggling with survival, this is definitely your best bet. If you fail to break the barrier, you, you know, you could also, you could also, if you only use Tywin as a meat shield without any uh, Soul Weaver and three damage dealer, let's say, uh, it's kind of, yeah, I mean, you can do it. You could even use Holy Sacrifice if you've got it maxed out, or even if you don't, maybe you just, uh, you just, if you fail the run, if you you feel you're gonna fail, if he, this d doesn't proc, and just like you start losing damage dealers. The thing is, you just need to buy enough time if you have enough damage dealers. If you have three damage dealers, you can definitely break the barrier, and then uh, you might even kill the Wyvern inside the barrier, or shortly after and uh, you might start getting one of your damage dealer targeted but the wyvern attacks three times in a row and if he attacks one hero he will like if he kills that hero he's not gonna use the remaining two attacks or however many uh, remaining attacks were left on another hero he will let's say he uses his barrage of th uh, triple attacks and then the hero dies and then maybe the next turn he uh, decides to go in barrier uh, phase but anyways uh, sometimes it's just about buying enough time for you to uh, burst down the boss during barrier or shortly after and uh, holy sacrifice cannot be overlooked but if you do fail to break the barrier and you do have enough survival on your team and sustain to uh, to take that uh, shockwave or double attack the, the spell plus the shockwave big aoe you can rely on Aureus. Aureus uh, definitely ups the team survival, and uh, I mean, he's your tank is gonna take a mass massive hit, but if you can sustain it, uh, you can go through mo uh, a few um, uh, like fail to break the barrier scenario, but you're slowly dealing damage against the boss and eventually killing uh, the boss. So yeah, that is uh, in most cases Aureus. Well, I mean. It also depends. You could frontline him or you could backline him. And if you're if he's in your backline, Aureus is definitely gonna be uh, your top choice. But yeah, frontline Aureus could be used, but you better make damn sure that he survives that uh, after the huge uh, shockwave attack, or you will shortly kill the boss afterward because he's gonna take a lot of damage. Like if your whole team lost, let's say like seventy five around seventy five percent of their health like that is a lot of damage being redirected onto your um onto your tywin and aureus i mean you might have leveled it a bit too much that a bigger like too big of a portion is getting redirected onto him so there's always that to look for maybe you have two and you might want to use your plus 15 instead of your plus 30 but i'm not lucky enough to have multiple copies but yeah i mean that's gonna be it for this one guys uh i, I could definitely go on for a long time i'll make a guide for group like exactly just for group compositions there are just so many out there and it, it's it's hard to just uh talk about all of them but i'll try to do as best as i can in uh, uh, a future upcoming video all right guys i hope this was helpful to some of you out there and uh yeah i'm astronox like comment and subscribe for more press the bell icon if you'd like to be notified whenever i release a new video and peace out for now